Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are just going to discuss about the hardware and software components that we are going to use throughout this tutorial series. The development board that we are going to use is AVR development board by NSK Electronics. And in this development board, we are just going to use Atmega 16 microcontroller. And this development board is suitable for all the 40 pin AVR microcontrollers. And this one is the reset button of the microcontroller. And this one is the onboard external crystal oscillator of 16 megahertz that is provided to the microcontroller. And through this power jack, you can power up the development board using external 12 volt 1 amps power supply adapter. And this development board has almost all the peripherals of the microcontroller, such as 4 LEDs that can be used as an output device to the microcontroller and 4 push buttons that can be used as input to the microcontroller. And we have 4 7 segment displays for displaying numbers. And using these terminals, you can interface a 16 cross 2 LCD to our microcontroller. And we have a 4 cross 4 matrix keypad that can be also interfaced to the microcontroller. Here we have an onboard relay. These are the two variable resistors or potentiometers that is used for producing analog values to the microcontroller. And these are the two I2C devices such as DS1307 real-time clock IC and 24C32 EE PROM for establishing I2C communication in our microcontroller. And this IC is an ULN2003 driver IC that is used for driving components such as relays. And the programmer that we are going to use is USB ASP from NSK Electronics. Pinouts of the programmer is as follows. And we just need to connect the programmer to our PC through USB cable. And then we have to connect the JTAG connector from our USB ASP programmer to the development board. If you are not having a development board or if your development board is not showing these pinouts, you can connect the terminals of the USB ASP programmer to the microcontroller as per this circuit diagram and you can build this circuit in a breadboard for programming the microcontroller. The software that we are going to use for programming is Atmel Studio. And for simulation, we will be using Proteus 8 Professional. So these two are the softwares that we are going to use. And the link for these two softwares is provided in the download section below the description of this video. Thanks for watching.